Um, so I just kind of wanted to have like a mom chat kind of video. Um, so it's just kind of been weighing on my mind a little bit and it was something I saw scrolling on Facebook earlier. So, um, a childhood friend of mine, we were best friends growing up, like we were literally inseparable. Um, she is pregnant with her third baby and I'm so over the moon excited for her. Um, I don't know if they know the gender yet. She already has a boy and a girl, so I don't think it matters to them what they have. But, um, it just like got me thinking when I saw that post, I was like, man, like most of my friends are on their second and third and even fourth children and I'm, I only have one child. And I mean, that's okay. I mean, it's not, I'm not like trying to have another baby right now and I can't or anything. Um, it's just making me think like, should I be having another baby right now? Um, I mean, I'm not necessarily ready for another baby, but it almost made me a little bit emotional because I was like, man, like she's about to have her third baby and I, you know, I'm not even going on having a second baby yet. Um, Alden's going to be five in October. So, you know, I don't want there to be huge age gaps between my kids. Um, like, my sister is nine years older than me, and my brother is five years older than me. So, um, growing up, obviously there was a big age difference between all of us, and my brother and I never got along because he was so much older than me, and he, I swear he hated me, we just, we didn't get along. Uh, we didn't get along until we were 18, just in all honesty, or until I was 18. Um, but... That does kind of worry me, like, Alden's gonna be five, and then what if we do end up having another baby? You know, will they get along? Will he want to help with the baby? Would he be excited? Would he resent us for having another baby? It's just, like, a whole big thing. Um, I definitely want, like, another child or two, maybe, in the future, um, it's just like with our situation, we're clearly not ready to have another baby. I just, I almost feel like there's pressure on me to have another baby, if that makes sense. Um, like, no, nobody is pressuring me, like family, friends, you know, nobody. It's just seeing so many of my friends going on, like, their second and third kids. It's, it's just making me think, like... Am I doing something wrong? Like, should I already be having another baby? Um, you know, once we are fully, like, in our own house, I will be down to have another baby. But, I mean, until we're at that point, there's, there's really no way to have another baby right now. Um, so it's a struggle. Um, I definitely have baby fever. Um, I'm not gonna lie, like, I could sit here and say, like, I don't want a, another baby right now all day, but, like, I kind of do. <laughs> um, but it also, again, worries me. Like, what if Alden, you know, I don't, I would never want Alden to feel, like, left out, um, or ignored because I know sometimes older children feel ignored when the baby gets a lot of attention and Alden is my world like he you know he and I are like this and I don't ever want that bond to break because of another baby um I don't know I am just I was just it was in my head so I kind of wanted to talk about it like is anybody else out there in the same boat as me like do any of you only have one children and like, friends of yours are having more, um, and does that make you feel like you should have more, or is it making you feel bad for not having any more? Um, I don't necessarily feel bad, um, for not having more, I just, I don't know, like I said, I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like at this point, like, I'm I'm about to be 30. Alden will be 5 in October. I feel like we're kind of, like, put 
pushing it, you know? Like, I don't necessarily want to be in my 30s having children. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, I think my mom was 33 when she had me. Um, again, there's nothing wrong with that. I just always, I always pictured, like, I guess having all of my kids in my 20s. Um, and I just, I don't know. Is anybody else out there, like, do you feel me? Do you know what I'm, like, struggling with right now? Like, I want another baby, but I'm not ready for another. Like, we're literally not ready for a baby. Not necessarily financially, but, like, you know, we're not really in a stable environment to be able to bring another baby into the world. If it happens on accident, we will make it work, and we will we will find whatever we have to. Um... But I'd like to be in, like, our forever home before having a second child. Um, I don't know. That's just, that's just how I feel. I, sorry, I'm looking down at my computer for a second. Um, and I don't know. And then I, again, I have this mom guilt. Like, I don't want, I would never want Alden to feel like, you know, this new baby is taking his place because, of course, babies need a lot of attention and care. Um, and it would be really hard to deal with a toddler or, I guess, big kid and a baby. I don't know. I don't know how people do it, but, like, I do want more kids. I just... At this time, I'm not ready. It's just so hard seeing all of my friends moving on, having more kids while I'm not. Does that make any sense? Like, that's that's what I'm, like, getting at here. Um, it almost makes me want to cry because, like, I do want another baby. I have baby fever. I love babies. Um, I miss Alden being a baby. Um, I just feel like... I'm at a standstill, in a way. Um, I don't know. I'd be okay with Alden being my only child. Like, it's not like I'm yearning for another baby. But I would like to have another baby. Um, again, if, like, I were to get pregnant in the next couple of weeks by chance, like, by accident or something, I would be happy. I would be scared. But I would be happy, you know? It would be a blessing. Um, if it doesn't happen, that's fine, too. And we can just plan on, you know, the next one. But, you know, I mean, Alden wasn't planned. And, of course, we were scared. And especially being first-time parents, not knowing anything about anything. Um, luckily, I had been around kids when I was younger because I, I babysat my niece and nephew from the time they were babies up until, you know... They were older kids, um, but my fiancé had never been around kids, so it was it was kind of cool seeing him, like, adjust to being around a baby and learning to be a dad, and, um, and I'd love to extend my family. I'd love to have more kids, and I don't know why I feel like I'm going to cry. We're just not, like, we're not ready, and it sucks because... We've looked at so many houses, um, not, like, more recently, but, like, before Alden was born, after Alden was born, we've looked at so many houses, nothing's ever worked out, literally everything that we looked at, there was something wrong with it, where it would have cost too much money to fix and it wouldn't have been worth it. And we really don't necessarily want to live in the area that we're in. We want to go out to a nicer area. So, of course, it's going to be more expensive. And I don't drive. So, my biggest thing is, like, moving to a nicer area is ideal. But then I can't just drive myself back here to see, like, my mom or my sister or, you know, um, Jeremy's parents. Uh, I like being close to family because it just makes me feel safe um you know with with as bad as my anxiety is like I need to be able to like be close to to people 
Um, but I, I want what's best for our little family. No matter where it is that we move, I definitely don't want to move out of state. Not that I necessarily love the state that I live in, but like if like our whole move, if our whole family could move with us, I would love that. And then I'd love to get out of the state, but that's never going to happen. Um, I just, I just feel like my life is at a standstill. We aren't finding anything right now that will work for us. You know, we need, we just need the right kind of house with nothing wrong with it. <laughs> um, and we definitely want to be in a better area. I don't, I don't want my child to grow up around this area. Not, not that it's like a bad area. It's just like, it's not the way it was when I was a kid. And... Um, I would just like to move in a more peaceful area, not necessarily out in the country, but like definitely more rural. Um, and my only problem with that is in rural areas, there's like only Walmarts and no Targets and y'all know I need my Target in my life and QT, but I don't know, it's just been weighing on my mind, and I don't really want to talk to my fiancé about it because he's always like, let's, let's just have another baby. I'm like, do you, do you hear yourself? Like, we are not in the position to literally have a baby right now. We, we just aren't. Um, you know, if things were different and we were already in the perfect house for us and we had the room for another baby... I'd be ready for a baby right now, but we're just not there yet, and it sucks, and, um, I don't know, it just kind of makes me sad, because I would love to grow our family, um, and you guys know, like, I did kind of plan on wanting to get married this year, and then the whole COVID thing happened, um, I think people are still able to get married as far as I know, um, but I read this article about Colorado and how you can go to Colorado and you literally don't need anybody there. You can just get married legally in Colorado. You can do it in the forest, in the mountains, like in all of these beautiful places. And there's photographers already for you. Um, and it's not even that expensive to do. Like, I want to elope and do that so bad rather than going to a courthouse. Um, but I don't know if I could talk Jeremy into that. because, Like, we've literally, we've been together eight years this month. We've been engaged for seven years. We've never gone on a trip together. We've never been out of state together. We've never, like, the only time we've ever been anywhere together was when we would get free rooms at the casino because he used to go to the casino a lot and we would we would use the rooms for the weekend those were our vacations so if i could talk him into actually like going to colorado and getting married and doing that that would be my dream that's what i want now instead of going to the courthouse um but I don't know. So it's like we're still working on getting married, you know. And Jeremy does. He wants more kids. He's already telling me, like, let's have another kid. And I'm just looking at him like, dude, you know our situation. Like, we can't just have another kid right now. And he's like, it'll be fine. It takes a year to have a baby. I'm like, nine months. Nine months is less than a year. And it goes by so much faster than you think. So, j like, you know, just say I were to get pregnant right now. He acts like in the nine months that I'd be pregnant, we would be able to perfectly get a loan for a house, get into our dream house, get everything we need for the house, and be ready for a baby. That's just not, that's just not possible. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I needed to vent mom to mom, so hopefully some moms are watching this. I hope my mom's not watching this. If you are, sorry mom, but I just, I do want more kids. I just, 
it's not the right time, I can't do it right now. Um, and of course, like, my anxiety is seriously so bad, I really don't know how I could handle more kids. But, as long as I can control it, like, I can control my anxiety with my medication, but I don't, I don't know how it is when you're pregnant if you're allowed to take anxiety medication. I don't think you are, um, unless they have a specific anxiety medication that's made for pregnant women. I don't know. I'd have to talk to my doctor about that. But, um, that's another thing I'm worried about is being pregnant and not being able to take, you know, something for my anxiety when it's really bad. But, I don't know. I just needed to vent. Um, I hope somebody out there is listening to me, and I hope somebody can relate to me and give me advice and just tell me that everything's gonna be okay and that it's okay that I don't have, you know, more kids right now and I don't need to have more kids right now. And I know that. I know I don't need to or whatever, but it's like the desire to have another baby is in me and I do have baby fever. But then I have the mom guilt of not wanting to ever let Alden feel left out or like he has been replaced. And then knowing we can't even really have a baby right now because of our situation. It's just, it's so much. And it's just been on my mind because, like I said, I was on Facebook and I just keep seeing people. And I'm in mom groups on Facebook and so many people... In the mom groups are, you know, they're always like, oh, I'm pregnant, and, you know, and I love seeing that. I'm so happy for all of them. I'm not, not happy for them at all. I just, sometimes I wish it was me, you know? And, like, I feel like all those people in the mom groups that I'm in, um, they all have such beautiful houses, and I'm like, is that ever gonna be me? Like, I know I'm a stay-at-home mom, so I can't help contribute, you know, to save for, like, a really nice house. But at the same time, like, Jeremy told me when Alden was born, like, I want you to stay home with him. Um, he didn't force me to, but, like, my dream growing up was to always be a stay-at-home mom, but I never thought I would be. I expected to go back to work at the bank after having Alden, um, but he told me he wanted to stay home with him, so... You know, that's why I'm home with him. And in all honesty, we don't trust anybody to watch him. We, The only people we ever trust to watch him are his mom and my mom. And I've said this before, but my mom has been taken advantage of too many times by my sister and my brother with all of their kids that she wouldn't really want to be a babysitter even if I paid her. Um... And then she uses the excuse that she's too old to be chasing around a five-year-old. And I get it. I, I do. But, you know, it's like, it just sucks. Like, if I wanted to go to work, I feel like I can't. Because we don't trust people with our kid. And I would never send my child to daycare. I'm not shaming people that do. But I will not ever send my child to daycare. Because I swear to God, if something were to ever happen to him, if he ever came home with marks on him... I would go to jail. Um, and I also, I really want to homeschool my child, which I told you guys I'd talk to you more about that at some point. Um, I'm trying to educate myself as much as I can. Um, my cousin's wife homeschools their children, so I, I have her that I can always talk to and get advice from. Um, She's so nice. I love talking to her. I just, and they, they don't even live that far away. I'd love to get together with them and let um, Alden play with their kids so that, you know, I mean, they are all cousins and I'd love for them to get to know each other. Um, but like, ideally, I'd like to homeschool and, um, you know, if I could make money from home somehow, I'd love to, but going to work after being home for so long and after Jeremy telling me to stay home, you know, I don't even know what I could do. I, I, I've had experience at a bank, but the only other experience I've had is at a restaurant and you don't make crap at restaurants. I mean, if you bust your butt and work like night shifts, you can, but 
I'm the kind of person that I only like working day shifts and I get um, real frazzled when there's like a lot going on like during night shifts. Um, so I don't know. I'm just, I'm rambling. That's just what my mom brain has been thinking about and I just want to know I'm not alone. Um, I just... I have so many wishes and hopes and dreams and I feel like they're not going to come true and I always say if I win the lottery, you know, we could make this happen but then I never play the lottery <laughs> to win. Um, I don't know. I just, I'd love to expand our family but I'd also love to be in our own like forever home. Um, and just have it all together, you know, and actually get my kid together with other kids so he can interact with other children and have friends. Um, I have a lot of friends with kids his age. I just don't talk to these people very often. Like, they're friends, like, like, we're friends on Facebook. Um... I wouldn't say we're not friends in real life, like, but, like, a lot of people, it's either, like, I knew them from high school, or I worked with them for a short amount of time, and I kind of feel awkward, like, hey, I know we never talk, but you want to get your kid together? And then at the same time, I don't drive, so it would be like, would you be able to come pick up me and my son so we could all hang out together? At, you know what I mean? Like, this is why I'm always so anxious. I'm literally anxious every day of my life because I don't drive, but driving makes me so anxious because of the way people drive around my area. Um, it's my, my anxiety is crippling when it comes to driving, and that is no joke. Um, I feel like people, you know, may make fun of me for it or think I'm a loser or something. At least that's how I feel they think of me as. But I seriously, like, I, I can't force myself to drive as bad as I want to. Um, having a kid and not driving freaking sucks, let me tell you. It does. But I just can't force myself to do it. Um, I am way too nervous. And it's I'm not nervous about myself driving whatsoever. I kind of drive like a grandma, not gonna lie. I just don't trust all the idiots on the road around me, and especially with my kid in the car. I just, I feel so much safer when Jeremy's driving us, or like, even my mom, or, you know what I mean? I just, I don't want to even want to get into all that. Okay, I'm going to end this. I feel like nobody's even going to care, but if anybody out there feels me, or has been in this situation, or is in this situation... Please comment down below and let's chat because I feel like I'm alone in this and, you know, I'm just kind of down about the situation. Like, I'd love to have another baby right now, it's just not the right time, and all my friends are already having two and three kids and I'm, I only have one and, I don't know. That's my mom rant. My mom ranty, chatty video of the night. So I'm going to go ahead and get my Friday favorites video together. I'll put this video together. And yeah, if any of you ever felt this way, whether it was back in the past, let me know. If you feel this way now, let me know. I'd love to know that I'm not alone. Um, it's just, I feel alone. Um, I really do. So um, thank you for listening, and if you're still here at the end of this video, it's like 25 minutes in, then thank you, I appreciate you, and just thank you for hearing me out, because I've, it felt really good to talk about, so I will talk to you guys again very soon. Have a great night. Bye.